Once in a blue moon, a community gets a high school coach that makes such an impact that it spans generations. This month, the Cedar Falls Community Schools said goodbye to such a coach as swim coach Richard Markison retired after 47 years. Markison came to Cedar Falls Schools in 1969 to coach the boys' swim team and a year later started the girls' swim team. He is the only person to ever coach girls' swimming for Cedar Falls High School. Starting in a small 20-yard pool with only four lanes, Markison grew the Cedar Falls swimming program to what it is today. While honoring him at the retirement party, it was mentioned that if he would have coached football with his winning percentage, he would have been worth millions because Markison's winning percentage was 86% overall. He has 692 dual meet victories, has won 24 out of 25 MVC conference championships, nine girls state championships, seven girls state runner-up teams, five boys state championships, one boys state runner-up team, become national coach of the year in 2005, and was inducted into the Iowa Girls High School Hall of Fame in 2014. His career has spanned generations with many past swimmers sending their own children to swim under his coaching. And my wife swam for him too, so yeah, it's been a long haul. We probably have more years, uh, my wife, two boys, and myself than any other family here. But it's been great and it was always good to uh, know Dick was there and that's one of the reasons why the boys wanted to swim so bad. Here we are, what? You know, 40 years later, look at all these people in the room of all different age ranges, and it's because we've had a coach for that period of time, and he's done a quality job for everybody. So for us to have our kids go up there, we, both my wife and I just sort of looked at each other and said, wow. Past swimmers came together to honor the legendary coach and reminisce of some of their favorite memories. So he'd go out and, and uh, um, have a cigarette, and Coach Page was uh, assistant coach, which coach didn't know anything about swimming, so we're supposed to do a, a thousand yard swim, and Paige is watching us, and so after about three laps, we said, hey, we're done. When discussing how greatly the swimming program has changed and grown over the years, Coach Markison commented that he was always striving to get better with every accomplishment. Some milestones he didn't even know he made until going through all his achievements for his retirement party. And I found out there was four years where we went double, double. That's never been done in Iowa. So that's a record in itself. Maybe for me, maybe the rest of the state doesn't know about it, but I do, and I, and I thought, geez, that, that, that was great. You know? During Coach Markison's retirement party, he was presented with what he felt was his greatest honor and accomplishment. And I just, I never expected anything like that. You know, that's just probably the biggest honor that you could give a coach. I mean, you could tell me I got a little choked up about it because that's just the way I feel. I feel Cedar Falls has given me so much, you know. I didn't deserve that. I Just being part of the system and being around the kids in Cedar Falls and the parents, I mean, they're just outstanding. I mean, what else could you want, you know? I did everything I wanted. I got all the coaching honors, I got national honors and state honors and all that stuff, but when it comes right down to it, you know, this the naming of the pool for me, you know, it's probably the biggest honor I could have possibly gotten. Marguson left a lasting impact to everyone he coached over his 47 years at Cedar Falls. I think if you if think we were to grab him right now and say, you know, tell me about, you know, some of the kids you remember, and yeah, you remember the All-Americans, you remember the, you know, like his first state championship team, etc. But every kid that walked in here, he remembers. And they remember him because he never gave up on them. Whether you were in the fast lane or the slow lane, whether you worked, swam JV your entire career, he would still remember them. And he still coached them and he still cared about them. He didn't spend all of his time just with the good kids. He spent his time with every kid. It's always been in all of the back of our minds, like thinking like this is the last one. Like we have to make it great for Markison with every single meet that we've had. Though Dick Markison has retired from coaching, don't be surprised to find him at swim meets cheering on the student athletes swimming at the Coach Markison Pool. Reporting for Cedar Falls Community Television, I'm Shelby Gappa.